Harley Davidson is a true American icon, one of the greats. Your motorcycles have carried American service members in the war and the wars. They take care of our police officers, and I see it so often. Whenever I go, whenever there's a motorcycle group, oftentimes it's a Harley, and the sound of that Harley is a little different, I have to tell you. It's really good. So thank you, Harley Davidson, for building things in America. I think you're going to even expand. I know your business is now doing very well, and there's a there's a lot of spirit right now in the country that you weren't having so much in the last number of months that you have right now. You see what's happening. Uh, I'm especially honored to welcome the steel workers and the machinists to the White House. Who's a steel worker here? You're all steel workers, essentially, right? But you folks have been terrific to me. Sometimes your top people didn't support me, but the steel workers supported me, right? <laughs> a lot of your top people, they'll be losing their jobs pretty soon, I guess. But they're all coming around. We're, uh, we're getting them. But the workers supported this big league. We want to make it easier for businesses to create more jobs and more factories in the United States. And you're a great example of it. That means we have to make America the best country on Earth to do business. And that's what we're in the process of doing. We're redoing NAFTA. We're doing a lot of our trade deals, and we're negotiating properly with countries, even countries that are allies. A lot of people taking advantage of us. A lot of countries taking advantage of us, really terribly taking advantage of us. We had one instance in Australia. I have a lot of respect for Australia. I love Australia as a country, but we had a problem where, uh, for whatever reason, President Obama said that they were going to take uh, probably well over a thousand uh, illegal immigrants who were in prisons and they were going to bring them and take them into this country and I just said why I just wanted to ask a question I can ask that question of you why 1,250 could be 2,000 could be more than that and I said why why are we doing this what's the purpose so we'll see what happens but uh, you know a previous administration does something you have to respect that but you can also say, why are we doing this? That's why we're in the jams that we're in. And you guys, especially the steel workers, understand what I'm saying, right? So I just, uh, you know, we have we have some wonderful allies, but we're going to and we're going to keep it that way. But we have to be treated fairly, also. We have to be treated fairly. In this administration, our allegiance will be to the American workers and to American businesses, like Harley Davidson. And we're very strong in the 1980s, and I remember this. You were victims of trading abuse, big trading abuse, where they were dumping all sorts of competitors all over the place. And Ronald Reagan stepped in, and he put on large tariffs. And you wouldn't be talking about Harley Davidson probably right now if he didn't do that. But we're going to help you too, and we're going to make it really great for business, not just you, but for everybody. We're going to be competitive with anybody in the world. We're going to be doing taxing policies very soon. It's going to be coming out. And I know health care is a big problem for every country. Every company is now suffering with health care because of the tremendous cost. And that's uh, one of the things that we're working on hardest, that and tax policy and tariffs and trade. So I think you will be very happy. It's an honor to have you at lunch. I really appreciate your support. You've given me tremendous support. Your workers, in particular, have given given tremendous support. I want to thank the people of Wisconsin, in particular. It's been amazing what happened up there. That was a big shocker that evening. When they go, wow, I'll never forget. Wow, Wisconsin just went for Trump. Then all of these people, especially that guy right there. <laughs> no, but then they said, what's going on? Wisconsin just went for Trump. And then Michigan went for Trump and Pennsylvania. So it was, they were great, just great people. These are amazing people, and they get it.